Hey, what's up guys? This is Ivan Ramy from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. It really motivates me to make these videos for you guys. In this video, we're going to cover my stellar setup for Walmart consoles. Make sure to watch my previous videos where I cover Target and uh, the setups needed for that. These videos are going to be based off these guides I have here um, written in our NARC cook group. If you haven't already joined Boncop, right now is the time. We're for, for a limited time, we're offering a free three-day trial with the link below. Um, Boncop has monitors, alerts for every site, Amazon, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and that'll notify you the second these like high-demand items will be restocked, like consoles. Um, we have all the guides and one-on-one -on -one bot support you need to be successful. With that being said, let's jump into the setup. For this setup, I'll be using my Stellar that's on my that's located on my sauce server. I'll drop a link down below in case you guys want to purchase a reliable server as well. All right, so for Walmart, I I recommend to just make your accounts yourself. Um, there is an option to auto gen, but I tech I typically just make my accounts myself because it's really easy to do, and uh, also uh, pretty easy to keep count of how many accounts you have. So let's jump into accounts. So unlike Target, you don't have to make a session itself. You just have to add it right here um, in this accounts tab. Let's go ahead and select Walmart. And then um, let me grab my login info. Botancop101 at gmail.com. Perfect. So that, that's it uh, for adding an account. It's really simple. Just have that uh, email and password. Now let's go to our task. Let's name this YouTube Walmart consoles. Walmart. Perfect. So here you're going to see uh, we're going to create a task. So the, you see there's different modes. Um, typically for Walmart, for Walmart consoles, you'll want to run your own monitors and your own safe task. So let's go ahead and start with the monitor. Um, select a profile. Uh, yeah. Just select that one. Um, and then um, for proxies, I'm just going to use some ISPs and then skew so this is uh, an area you really have to be careful with um, Walmart typically changes their skews almost every drop so it's really important to have the skews and offer IDs that are up to date luckily I have some already from our cook group so I'm gonna grab that real quick and it looks like this one's gonna be a PS5 disc uh, delay so if you've watched my video before on monitors you know that I like to stagger my delays so I'll start with this one with 5,000 and there's gonna be a total of four monitors max price uh, I'm pretty lazy I just put 650 um, but technically you should do the price times your state tax uh, and nothing above or below but 650 will cover it and then monitor mode uh, Thank goodness they took away the web too. Uh, that'll save you from confusion. It looks like mobile's only option now. This has been working well. Um, reset delay. I'm gonna recommend 5,000. This is just uh, when your task will restart after it finds something in stock. Allow third party. You don't want to select that, but you want to select solve PX. Um, right here, it'll tell you. Um, it basically, will solve these cookies for you for Walmart. Um, I typically just leave it selected. And here's a cool new feature. Uh, you can go ahead and select four, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make those, and then edit them. So this one's at four, five thousand. I'm gonna change this to six thousand, and then this one at seven thousand, and then finally eight thousand. Uh, the reason why I stagger these monitors is because they're gonna constantly check for if that SKU is, is in stock um, by having it staggering they're covering each other um, so there's like less room for or there's more efficiency between these tasks um, so as soon as one of them picks it up it's gonna 
trigger all your checkout tasks, which are going to be safe tasks, which I'll show you in one second. So here we go. Uh, select safe mode. So safe mode has been working well. Uh, it's been uh, better than fast. On the last drop, it really helped people cop more than fast. So I would stick with safe for now until fast gets fixed. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that same PS5 disk view. Um, the offer ID. So here's what I was mentioning. You'll want an up-to-date offer ID. So you'll grab that from a cook group. Uh, I'm grabbing this from Bot and Cop. And then delay. You really want this to be pretty low. So I'm going to go ahead and go 1,500. This is pretty low. Uh, and, and, and you're going to be running these tasks right when... Uh, a couple minutes before a drop max price same thing uh, so here's my account that we just made earlier in the video watch task yes uh, and then you if you were to use auto generate you would need to catch all and then you would select this but for this video I just went ahead and made an account myself um, and that's it. Um, this looks like it's something experimental, so I'm not going to mess with uh, this yet. And that's basically it. So um, once I create this, if I start all these tasks, it should say waiting for monitor. Empty the cart, and then it's going to... Yep, there we go. Uh, another big tip I'm going to give you guys is to make a lot of safe tasks. I usually recommend at least five. Um, maybe even seven per uh, SKU on each account. The reason is because there's going to be a lot of errors on your task. Um, and you just want to have a lot of backup tasks to check out. It's been my method to cop uh, PS5s and, and, and consoles in general for Walmart. So hopefully this video helps you guys get a better understanding of your setup for Walmart. And um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a comment and subscribe, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.